Welcome into the video, I'm your tech guy Wayne, and today I wanna to show you how to move your data from an Android phone to an iPhone in 2025. Now in the video, I'll be transferring my data from a Google Pixel 9 to the iPhone 17 Pro. And big shout out to MacVac for sponsoring this video. We'll chat a little more about them later on. Let's go ahead and jump into the video. So here's the first thing you need to know if you're gonna move your data over. If your iPhone is already set up, you'll have to do a few extra steps to get the iPhone ready to receive the data. So if your iPhone is not on the welcome screen, if you've already set it up and you're here, you'll actually need to factory reset the phone first because you can't transfer the data once you've already set the phone up and gotten to the home screen. So the first thing you'll need to do is go to your settings, go down to general, swipe up and go to transfer or reset iPhone, tap on erase all content and settings, hit continue and hit erase iPhone. It will ask for your pin code to initiate the process. And once you enter it, it will begin to delete your data and then it will begin to reset the phone. Now, while we're doing this on the iPhone, we're gonna jump over to the Google Pixel phone and here you'll wanna go to the Play Store and you'll want to search Move to iOS. This is the app that will allow you to seamlessly move just about all your data from your Android phone over to your iPhone. We're gonna tap on Install and let that download on this phone. Looks like the pop-up here says that uploading to iCloud failed. It's fine, I'm gonna hit um, Erase anyway. And as you can see, we're just about done with the uh, factory reset on this side. It's asking for my pin code one more time because it's going to remove the find my iPhone. I'm gonna go ahead and hit turn off. And there we go. Now it is finalizing the factory reset. On this side, I can see it has downloaded the move to iOS app. We're gonna hit open. And here, it's gonna walk us through just a few prompts and it's just saying how easy it is to move your data over. We'll just hit continue. We're gonna accept the terms and condition, allow for permission while using, turn on notifications, tap allow, hit settings. We're going to turn on location settings here, hit our back arrow. And so now it's showing us that there's two different ways we can do this. We can do this using a cable or we can do this over Wi-Fi. So some things to think about when you're trying to decide which option you wanna do. Um, if you do the Wi-Fi method, it does take longer. So if you have a cable, it's best to use the cable. And since both these phones use a USB-C, it's super easy to go ahead and just use a cable. So I'll be using um, this cable right here. And shout out to this brand here. This is a super cool cable. It is a magnetic one. So when you unwind it, it just literally winds back up like this. I'll drop a link on that in the description in case you guys want to get one of those, in case you're tired of messy cables all over the place. Now, I'm going to wait for my iPhone to finish the reset before I plug it in. Um, but this phone is basically ready to go. Now, while our iPhone is finishing the reset, I want to pause and give a quick plug to today's sponsor, which is MacBack. Now, MacBack is the case I have on my iPhone 17 Pro. It has these interchangeable bumpers. Those cases also will come with uh, interchangeable grips on the side here. On the back, it does have a finger loop as well that you can use to hold the phone. It will seamlessly dock right onto my wireless charger and it will charge just like normal. Now on the back here, it has these super strong magnets that allow you to basically stick it to any metal surface. I'll you know throw it on my refrigerator when I'm grabbing things out for dinner or I'll mount it right above my stove and put my cooking directions so I can reference it while I'm making dinner. Also will come with this, which is called the Mag Stick. It makes it super easy to mount it and see my directions or change my music. Now, aside from that, it also does have a kickstand on the back as well, and that makes it super easy to stand it up in the portrait or landscape position. Now, if you get the Elite model, it actually will come with a screen protector as well. I'll drop a link down in the description if you guys wanna check them out. All right, so great news here. Our phone has officially reset. Our iPhone is now ready to receive data, which is awesome. So let's walk through the next steps. We're going to swipe up here and hit English and we're gonna select the country we purchased the phone in, select the appearance, and here, 
um, it's now asking for us to look for an iPhone. We're not transferring data from another iPhone. So we're gonna pause here. Next, we're gonna hit continue on our Android phone. And now it's telling us to connect the cable. So I'm gonna connect one end of my USB-C cable here and my other cable on the other side. This MagBag case also has a little flap that covers the port as well. I didn't mention that, but I love that as, as well. All right, so now they're both plugged in. We're gonna hit continue, and I'm gonna hit setup without another device. It is gonna next ask us to connect to a Wi-Fi network. All right, so we've connected to Wi-Fi. It's gonna take a few moments here, and after a few screens, it will take us to the screen that will link the phones together and it will start the pairing process. Let's hit continue. We're setting this up for an adult. We're gonna set up our face ID later. Here we can set a passcode for the phone. I'm also gonna do that later. I'm just gonna hit passcode options and hit don't use passcode. There we go. Okay, this is the screen where it says transfer your apps and data and we're gonna select from Android. Hit continue. Now we have the app open. We're ready for the code. And this is the code we were waiting for. We're gonna input that code. There we go. So now it's asking what information we would like to transfer over. And I'm gonna select messages and it will ask you to give permission each time. Contacts, call history, events, Google accounts, library for photos, voice memos. So you'll just go down the list and check each one. I don't have any voice memos, so there's nothing there. There we go. So we've selected everything. Hit continue. Now, I don't have a cellular plan, or actually I have a, a SIM card in this phone, and it's saying that it can't transfer the cellular plan, which is no problem. Keep in mind, remember, iPhone 17 is eSIM only, so I just need to call my carrier. Quick shout out to the carrier I use for this phone. It's Tello Wireless. I pay $10 a month just for a very basic data and text plan, so if you want something super simple, under you know 10 bucks a month, you can check out Tello, and I'll link them in the description. We'll hit continue and the transfer has officially started. So this is what it will look like once the transfer is finished. You'll hit uh, done on the Android phone. And on this side, we're gonna go ahead and hit continue. You will need to sign into your Apple ID account, or your Apple iCloud account, and it will ask you a few other options in terms of finishing setting up the phone. And after that, you're good to go. So you can disconnect the cables once it says transfer complete. And that is the process to transfer your data from an Android to an iPhone. Now, make sure you call your carrier and let them know you have switched to an iPhone that is eSIM only and you will need the um, steps or assistance with transferring your number from a physical SIM to an eSIM. So. That is the end of our video. Thank you to MagMac for sponsoring the video. And I'll link to this case and the other cool options in the description. So definitely check that out as well. And also, if you got value out of this video, bump that like button down below. You'll find links to every product I've mentioned in the video in the description below. So check that out. Thanks again for watching, guys. Take care. And as always, have a good one.